Today I am in California with a story so powerful I need two mics to tell it. I am at Kingston Mold and Machine and it is a women owned, family owned, started in 1977 machine shop that makes some of the most precise molds on the planet. When we're talking about rubbers and silicone, it requires some of the latest and greatest technology. So how are they achieving these dreams? Well, they've partnered with Sodic and they have Sodic EDMs, Sodic sinkers, and Sodic milling machines to create this success. Let's step inside and talk with Casey to find out more. Hello, Casey, it's so good to see you and thank you so much for allowing us to come in and share your story today. Well, thank you for having me. Well, we're at Kingston here in Southern California. Your story is powerful, it's impactful, it's one I wanna share, it's family owned, it's woman owned. The decisions you've made throughout your career journey have been nothing less of creating chill bumps on my arms and I'd love to share all of it, but today we get to be impactful and share parts of it that are truly meaningful. Starting in 1977, your grandfather and your father came together to start this amazing mold making journey. Can you talk a little bit about that? So yes, in 1977, they actually started in the core pin industry. They got into rubber and silicone molds. And that's what made Kingston stand apart from everyone else is that's what we specialize in, um, which is really great. We broke away from doing core pins, which a few years ago, we actually got back into doing. So we do do core pins as well again. I want to talk about that because what's fascinating to me is when we think of the mold industry, we think of plastics almost all the time. I mean, there's shows all the time about it. You guys went the hard way first, the hard route. And in my head, I'm going, if Kingston can do rubber and silicone, then of course they can do the plastic side of things as well. And you truly are a global leader. When I think about where are these products being done around the world here in Southern California, for the people out there watching right now, if they're looking for a partner that can have a strategy here in the U.S. as we're reshoring more, let's look at Kingston. So let's talk about what you've done over the years as well, I'm gonna break a little secret here. From starting with wanting to make cool bikes to getting into molding to becoming a leader in precision molding, which is where we are today. That's correct. Um, medical is about 80% of our business. So that is really what we specialize in. So we do a lot of catheters, ventilators, respirators. Um, it is truly what we do. We save lives every single day with the parts that we make. Um, we do a lot of molds that are to the tenths. So rubber silicone, there is no room for being able to all the shutoffs. They have to be right there. So um, it's it's unique what it is that we do. A lot of people don't want to dabble in it just because, again, it, it takes a skill to be able to do what we do. That's why we have the best machines to be able to help us do it. So as we've grown in 1977 was the start, your machine shop grew, your, your father and grandfather. And as you've expanded, you yourself hopped in in 2010, 2014, you became the voice of this company, really propelling your company to excellence on a global scale. And that's when Precision stepped in and you partnered with Sodic along with some of the machines you had along the way. But there's even a part where you said, you know what, these machines are worth my will. And being a part of that, which is, out, okay, I'm going to use the word outstanding, <laughs> but it's even more, it's, it's for some people, it might be questionable. But Casey, you knew this was the partnership. This was what could take us to the next level. These And what has Sodic done in partnership to the quality overall and the friendships you've created along the way? Well, their customer service, first off, is over the top. Um, anytime a machine that goes down that kills us. I mean, that that hurts our every day. We need to be running every single hour that we can. We need those machines going. So when a machine goes out, it's imperative that we get it fixed right away. Sodic is right on top of it, which is huge. Um, we have become friends throughout the years with all of the sales guys compared to the maintenance, compared to the tech support. They come out here. They know our team. They get us up and running because they understand how important it is that we need to be up and running. With that, with working with medical, it's huge that our tolerances are tight. Um, what we produce, we don't have to do a lot of second operations. What comes off these machines is perfect. I mean, it's very little polishing. Um, with our wire, I mean, what it can cut, it's, it's 
huge. Okay, so what really sold us on the machines were the linear motors. That is huge. It is really important with the type style work that we do. Um, we need to make sure that, I mean, we work on 193 cavity mold from the first one that's cut to the 193rd, that it is within tenths. And we have just that. We've been able to see based off setting up a part that goes for 24 hours, um, that that mold is perfect by the time it comes off the machine. Okay, so you've said a few things to me that have stuck out already. You've said rubber, you've said silicone, you've said medical, requires tight tolerances, requires the best machines out there. And I kind of made a joke to the audience uh, to segue us into this bit here. Around 2016, you really did get your name taken off of the wheel because you made a jump. But that's how passionate you are about these machines in this relationship. Would you mind sharing that oh my somewhat humorous and somewhat <laughs> scary story with the audience? It was. So we um, we had another brand machine, uh, EDM machine, and it constantly was pitting our parts, which anyone who knows EDM or anyone who understands how detailed it is when you're running a electrode machine, you can't have pits because then you're going to have to go through and you're going to have to re-weld and recut, and it's just, it's a disaster. So I wanted the new Sodic machines and I, without my dad's background or blessing, I bought a new Sodic machine and sold our other one. I got taken off of the will. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big blow to him. He couldn't believe that I did it. Um, and I'm so thankful that I did because that is what started taking us to that next level and really putting us in the market of being able to take on uh, bigger customers, being able to do more quality work and being able to cut um, more intricate, detailed parts and molds. And that's what sets us apart. Talking about being set apart, we're going to talk with Jim today. We're going to talk with Ryan today. We're going to get different perspectives of how everyone's viewing Kingston and, and your rise to fame and success and being this global leader. Where would you, as we before we slide in to talk with Jim, where would you attribute a lot of King's success as you've taken over from 2010, 2014 to now and seen the changes and seen the growth and seen the investments and what it's taken to get to the place where you are today because let's be fair when we're talking silicone and rubber if you're not the best you're out of the market and you guys are the best um definitely that does set us apart so we can cut all day long we have a lot of machines that we do all of our roughing on but the finishing work that's that is where it is and that you do not want these molds to come back we have customers all over the world so we need to make sure that what we cut what is being produced is right. And I have the faith in these machines that when it's cut, the parts come out correct. And of course you have little minor vents or um, parting lines that might need to be addressed a little bit, but that's what's nice. We do do molding where if we need to be able to test these molds out, we're able to do that and we can set them back up and we know that the machines are gonna be able to create parts that our customers expect and need. Casey, thank you so much for sharing this story. I cannot wait to talk with Jim to learn about Sodic's side of the relationship and working with you because you are an incredible, incredible woman. But don't go too far. You're gonna be at the end of this video as well. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, Kingston's a perfect example of the relationship and partnership that Sodic strives to have with its customers. So, you know, Kingston first was uh, a Sodic customer back in 2006. And then there was a, a period of time because obviously our machines are reliable that they didn't have any needs. So in 2015, they decided to add uh, the AG40L sinker EDM and our high speed mill uh, with a 40K spindle. Well, I, I came to Sodic in 2011, and uh, our office is really close to Casey's. We're just down the street. And, you know, having a customer like her that I can bring people into to see what our capabilities are and see the machines and just have that personal relationship that uh, she offers. And, and she's really passionate about her Sodic machines and she's passionate about her business. And I don't think any of those things could have been achieved without that partnership. As you can see, I'm standing in front of the recent investment, the VL400Q wire EDM machine. And as you know, Sodic is well known for their linear motor technology. They started that back in 1999. Uh, in 2006, 
we offered our 10 year positioning accuracy guarantee. And basically that means that your machine will be as accurate on day one as it is 10 years from now. In fact, there's many machines in the field that uh, are still micron level accuracy. And we have never had a claim on that 10 year positioning accuracy guarantee. Uh, our machines also have the motion control that is uh, coordinating those high speed movements. Uh, I tell my customers all the time that uh, when buying an EDM, it's kind of like what you look for when you buy a car. You know, the engine and the transmission are the most important parts of a car. And the engine on a SOTIC is those linear motors and that transmission is the motion control. Some of the added benefits of SOTIC are the smaller footprint, as you know, uh, California real estate, as is any real estate out there in the United States right now is very expensive. We've got a super small footprint and a very dense machine. So we're looking at about 20 to 30% more dense uh, than the competitor's equipment in the field. Uh, going forward, we also have some new exciting technology. Uh, we have iGroup technology, rotational, and as, as Kingston grows, their plan is to grow with SOTIC and uh, add technologies to basically increase their competitive advantage. Well, being in the sales field, I think in the beginning, I always get some resistance. People are afraid to talk to a sales guy, think that they're gonna tell them just what they wanna hear. But honestly, the best thing to do is to talk to the guys running the machine. So let's go over here and talk to Tony and Ryan. All right, Jim, thank you for that, Ryan. It's so good to be here with you. What Jim just said was pretty profound. Do you agree with those statements? Oh, I definitely agree with those statements. Um, this machine is just as accurate now as it was um, 10 years ago when we got it. And um, that's saying something about the linear motors. Um, the linear motors uh, have zero backlash. And so not only is that great for accuracy of true positioning, but that's also great for the accuracy of just diameters, bores, whatever you are cutting. Yeah, that's so important to understand about the linear motors. Thank you for saying that. And also thank you for reiterating what Jim told us as well. I have a couple of questions for you as I've gotten the opportunity to learn a little bit more about your processes here and how difficult they can be in the silicone and rubber world and how precise these parts must be. You have a part where you have hundreds of holes and the accuracy required for that part is almost nothing. Would you mind describing that process? Sure, we have a job that um, it's 193 cavities and we set up four plates at a time. Wow. So between the all four plates, we have 772 bores that we mill in here. And throughout the course of a 35 hour run, all the bores and diameters, as well as true positioning are all within a 10th. Wow, that's really impressive. That truly is that statement, that cliche one out there that says impossible, no. I'm possible, right? And Sodic is saying that. You have another project that kind of blows my mind as well. When we think about running lights out production, when we think about running 24 seven, there's so many obstacles that go into that to make sure that when we show up on Monday or Tuesday, if we're not feeling well, of course, but when we show up on Monday, that part coming off the machine is a good part. What's the longest part you've ever run and how has Sodic supported those long runs? You're exactly right. There's a job that we run in here and it, um, I run this machine for 120 hours nonstop. It runs through 15 tool changes and the accuracy of that job is within a 10th when it comes out of the machine. And that's, so that's running five days straight. Now we are climate controlled in this environment. So that makes a huge difference. But with um, running 35 hours straight, we have less than a 10th deviation from what we are trying to cut. That's absolutely impressive. And to your point, climate control is very important when we're running these types of accuracies. My friends, this is such an incredible testimonial of what Sodic can bring to your shop in an industry where precision is more than just key. It is so very important. Ryan, I know you're a busy man. I don't wanna to take too much of your time. If I could just shake your hand or allow me the opportunity to speak with you, let's go speak with Casey and see what she's up to. Uh, the future of Kingston looks very bright. Of course, we continue to put money back into the company to buy more SODIC machines, continue to keep us um, in the up and up with what it is that we're doing, what kind of molds we bring in here, what kind of customers we partner with, uh, what kind of quality mold makers we get in here, as well as our current mold makers, continuing to invest in them to get the best training, to focus on uh, making these molds uh, their own, uh, putting ownership into what it is that they cut on a day-to-day. -day. 
We strive to keep everything here in the United States. Of course, um, I'm a proud American. We're a proud American company. Be able to say that it was made in the USA is huge in manufacturing. So to be able to um, make what it is that we do on the daily basis and keep it over here and, and really support the Reshore Initiative is huge. You can also find us on our website at www.kinksandmold.com.